We're at Last Chance Saloon here. And I know it's hard. It's the kind of information and facts and knowledge which we try and park and just shove under the carpet and leave it for somebody else. But it's too late for that. Climate emergency, climate degradation is upon us. It's actually all around us if we choose to open our eyes and see rising sea levels in Bangladesh or the Maldives or melting ice caps. No amount of information, no amount of IPCC reports, no amount of realisation is going to help unless we act on it. And we need to act on it collectively. And we can't expect our leaders or our politicians to do that for us. We are going to have to take individual and collective responsibility in all walks of life. Just as those defiant young souls in schools have been going on strike to draw attention to the urgency of the problem and the immediacy that is required of us. Because make no mistake, whilst it is the case that overconsumption over actually causes the so-called American dream, so much misery and anger and revulsion in life, in our better moments we'll realise that. If we were to come together, if we were to understand the limitations of our planet, if we were to share that common goal to fix and change our ways, we would actually live happier as a result. And that goal and that prize, the apprehension of a beautiful sunset, what price are you going to put on that? What price is a banker going to put on that? None. Because it's not accurately costed in the economic system. It's deliberately not costed. What price you're going and queuing up for another iPhone? The real price of that is the cost to humanity. And when we realise that, when we get a grip of the existential threat upon us, on our untold responsibility to safeguard the planet, not just for future human populations, but for the untold non-animal species and plants that we share this beautiful planet with, that will give us, I believe, all the motivation that we need. But it has to happen now.